Alrighty, now let's go to our NFL Draft Prospect of the Day. We can finally fit this man in on the show here. So, um, we are on day 44 of our NFL Draft Countdown, 73-day countdown up until the NFL Draft, looking at an NFL Draft Prospect every single day, or trying to at least. In today's NFL Draft Prospect, up is Elijah Molding, safety from Washington. So, we'll go over the stats, and then we'll look at the film and see what this man is all about, seeing if our teams should be drafted him or not. So here we go. Elijah Molden, defensive back safety from Washington. He's 5'10", 190. Alrighty. Kind of like a Tyron Matthew. I think Tyron Matthew is like 5'9". He may be 5'10". But, um, you know, that's fine for a safety. We got no problem with that. Alrighty. Four seasons in Washington. Love that. College educated. Got that degree. Love it. Already started in 2017, his freshman season, played eight games, had 19 total tackles, no sacks, no interceptions, one pass defense, no forced fumbles. Already then in 2018, he had 29 total tackles, still no sacks, still, still no interceptions, five pass defenses, one fumble recovery, and one or in one forced fumble. So still good there, getting better every single season. Then in 2019, his junior year, 79 total tackles. Holy moly! Um, four interceptions. 12 pass defenses, one fumble recovery, three forced fumbles. Alrighty, so a playmaker on the defensive end of the ball his junior year, his best season, getting better every single season. And then in 2020, they only played four games. So, I mean, he's not going to you know have all that impact from 2019 because he played 13 games in 2019 and only four games in 2020. But in 2020, four games played, 26 total tackles, um, still no sacks. So, you know, not getting there. Can't really blitz. No safety blitzes for this man. One interception, one pass defense, no forced fumbles or fumble recoveries. But, you know, 2019, his junior year, best season. That's what we like to see. Obviously, we'll give him a little bit of a pass here in 2020 because of the whole COVID situation. But he did get to three bowl games from 2017 and 2019. So we got to take a look at those. We do judge bowl games very heavy. I want to see you, uh, you know, you face better teams. In the bowl games, you uh, have a month to prepare for a bowl game, so there's no reason why you should be floundering in bowl games. But uh, first season, he did not play in the bowl game, his rookie season. Alrighty, or freshman season. So now let's go to 2018. He played, oh, two bowl games here. Did they get two bowl games? What is this? Pack, uh, where did they get to the championship game? And then an actual bowl game? Yeah, Pac-12 championship game. Well done. All righty. So, gets to the Pac-12 championship game. They win that game. They held Utah to three points defensively. Well done, Molden. Um, all righty. Two tackles, no interceptions, nothing. But, hey, I mean, defensively as a collective, they held them to three points. I'll give them that. And then they get to a bowl game against Ohio State. Um, wow. Um, did they get into the college football playoffs in 2019? No, they were the fifth. Okay. Ohio State was five. Washington was nine. So not a playoff game, but a bowl game nonetheless. Unfortunately, they lose that game. Once again, he only had two tackles, no interceptions, or no nothing. So just a little bit of a lockdown defender there against Utah. Just couldn't really get it done against Ohio State, which is, you know, one of the better teams in the league. Alrighty, then let's go to 2019. Alrighty, got to a bowl game against Boise State. Is this the bowl game or the championship game? Bowl game. Alrighty. Um, alrighty, so he gets to the bowl game. They get the win. Fantastic. Nine tackles, one interception. Love it. And one forced fumble. So, I mean, like we said, this 2019 was his best year. He got it done in the bowl game, got it done in the regular season. So, we love what we're seeing this man, by this man, getting better every single season. Then COVID hit, the COVID season. So, we really couldn't see him go above and beyond what he did in that 2019 season. But overall, the stats are good. Bowl game stats are good. Overall stats are good. Getting it done in uh, key scenarios is good. So, stats are all checking out on this man. Now, the only thing left to do is watch the film on him. So, we'll see what we get. Uh, so here we go. We get the 2018 and 2019 highlights from this man. Obviously, he only played in, you know, four games uh, in 2020, so we really can't find anything there. So 2018, 2019, 2019 is best season. So we'll see what this man can do. So here we go. Elijah Moore or Elijah Molden, a safety from Washington. His number is three if we need to follow him around on the field. So here we go. Film is up. 
Alrighty, first play. He just comes up and makes a big old hit. Third and five. Let's go back a little bit here. He throws it about, the quarterback throws it about a yard short of the first down marker. And Molden comes up quickly. I mean, look at him attack on this ball. Just kind of breaks on the ball absolutely fantastically. Sees the, the eyes of the quarterback drifting back until, you know, this receiver right here. Throws it a yard short. Makes a huge hit that forces an actual incompletion. So it didn't even matter where the quarterback threw it because it, it's an incompletion all day. All right, here we go. Just setting down, sitting down right here, following the eyes of the quarterback, and then going and making a play on the ball and tips the ball away. This man's got some nice kind of concentration, knows where the quarterback's going to go with the ball, can read the eyes of the quarterback and still kind of play around him and knows what's around him. All righty, on the sideline, just comes up and makes a big old tackle there. All righty, here we go in the red zone. Let's lock it down. Here he goes. Yes, sir. Pick in the red zone. That's what I'm all about. Just kind of, I mean, he's not like a like a strong safety. This is what I like about this man. He's kind of playing a little bit all around the field. He can, you know, kind of play like the shorter kind of zones, not the deeper zones. And here he is in the front goal line of the end zone, just reading the eyes perfectly. And just look at how well he plays this. Look at this technique. I mean, I mean, ho, 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 woof, just, you know, kind of stepping back a little bit, reading the eyes, fades back in size, and then that full extension. I mean, this is just great technique of how to just catch a wide open ball right there. That's fantastic. So, all righty, maybe a little bit more of a Tyron Matthew, Jamal Adams type of safety where he's all over the field. So, I love it so far. I mean, that's just absolute perfection right there. Perfection. Perfection defensively. Alrighty, here he comes on the blitz. We know he never has a sack, but there he goes. Plays it fantastically on the run. He blitzes a little bit, knows it's a run, but gets right back in the play, goes right back inside, and it's about a three-yard gain, but he's blitzing off the edge, so it's great recovery right there. Alrighty, great defense. Man, defense incomplete on fourth and six. Yes, sir. This man is clutch. Locking it up in the red zone. Third downs, fourth downs, getting you off the field. That's what we're all about, man. Look at that. It knocks it out. All righty. Look at that closing kind of speed on the man to force an incomplete pass. Let's go back to this one very quickly. It's going to be an out route, so he's got a lot of ground to cover here. Breaks on it. Ball's a little thrown, a little too much inside, so he's able to kind of just make a play on it, but he does, and we can't blame him for doing what he's supposed to do out there, breaking up the ball at the last second. Fantastic work. All right, let's watch this play one more time. Here we go. Just comes up, fights off the screen. I mean, fantastic work. A little bit of a wide receiver, wide receiver screen here. And that's what we know. That's what we want to be looking for when we look at some of these defensive players from college. Are you getting it done in the screen game? Because that's kind of what's going to be happening a lot more and more. We're seeing it more and more already in the NFL. So uh, if you can kind of beat the screen, look at that. Takes on a blocker and then is still able to get the hands around the receiver there and bring him down for a no-yard gain right there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right, comes up and makes another big old hit. Surefire tackler right there so far. Let's see if we can see some more. Once again, another screen. He's f Oh, my goodness. The screen recognition, the screen execution is fantastic. All righty, this is just an easy pick right there. I mean, that's just a give me. That's just a give me. Alrighty, this one, this one's not a gimme. He steps right in front of it once again. I mean, this man is fantastic at reading the eyes of the quarterback, knows where the play is going to go, knows these right route combinations, and can just step in front of that freaking receiver right there and pick off the ball, no problem. Woo, I'm loving what I'm seeing by this man. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go in the red zone on a run and comes up and makes a big old hit right here. Look at that man work. Here he is working all the way from the left to the right side and then making a big old stick for a zero yard gain. Yes, sir. 
surefire tackle. We're marking this down. And look at this man in the coverage. I mean, great positioning. Did not let this man get inside and uh, just kind of boxes him out and has a chance at a pick. Unfortunately, doesn't get it, but he breaks it up. Incomplete pass. Alrighty, over the middle of the field, a nice little tip up. Oh, the full extension pick, unfortunately, does not go, but it's great uh, nonetheless. All right, here we go. Oh, forces the fumble. Yes, sir, you may have caught the ball, but hey, I'm coming over with the left, and still, I'm fighting on this ball. Yes, you may have caught it, but I'm right on your hip, and I'm still battling that ball out, and he knocks it out. Fantastic. There we go. A nice little stick there. Surefire tackle. We're back in the red zone. Can he lock it up? Yes, sir. Jumps in front of the ball and breaks it up. Incomplete pass right on the goal line. All right, they're trying his side in the uh, in the end zone. And once again, he says, no, 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 that's a pass breakup. Yes, sir. Maybe a little pass interference there. I would have liked to see a little bit of a better angle from that one. Unfortunately, we don't. Once again, the screen play. Yes, sir. Well, look at this man. Just recognizes it instantly and then goes and makes the attack. Let's watch it one more time. Here he is. Just reads it instantly. That man, the wide receiver, couldn't get the block on him, and he just goes and blows it up. All right, a nice little kind of another swing pass out to the right side. Plays it beautifully. Once again, playing the quarterback. Yes, sir. He's going to blow up the play in the backfield, whatever it is. All right, we get another one right here. Quarterback faking to the left, going all the way, throwing back to the right. Look at that, and he does not bite on it. A fake to the left, back to the screen to the right, and there he is for the interception. Do not, it, it, you, you can't fool this man. Nothing fools this man. He doesn't bite on anything. All righty. Is that it? That is it, man. All right, that man was truly impressive. I'm a little upset that we pushed this man back like four days of watching it because, man, oh, man, truly impressive. Um, I know we've looked at a couple of other safeties, uh, but truly, I mean, if you can break up those screen games, if you could be all over the field, if you're not just kind of a strong safety out there, if you can kind of get it done in the goal line, break up everything behind the line of scrimmage, know, like, what is going on, can instantly recognize the play and blow it up, can follow the quarterback's eyes and predict what's going to happen and jump in front of the route for the interceptions and not get beat downfield while still maintaining great kind of man coverage. I'm all about Elijah Molden from Washington. He's going to be great in this league, man. We we're seeing Tyron Matthew have great success, kind of a roaming safety. We saw that was kind of what he was doing. He was all over that defensive backfield breaking it up at the line of scrimmage, playing downfield for a deep ball that's breaking it up last second, um, literally last second after a catch and making it a fumble. I mean, I loved what I saw from that man. So Elijah Molden, folks, will look out for this man. He's going to make a nice defensive starter somewhere in this league, truly.